Hi, I'm Amanda Jane Woodall and welcome to my fashion school. So today I'm going to talk you through the top three British style essentials. Trainers. The appeal of trainers is wide ranging from a practical sports shoe to a style status symbol. We all have a pair and they grow through life as we do. The popularity of trainers skyrocketed in the 1980s in the UK and this was due to a new interest in health and fitness alongside a boom in American pop culture. In luxury fashion, Prada introduced their first sneaker to the runway in 1997. And by 2012, the sales of trainers in the luxury sector had doubled. Trainers speak their own visual language and they can tell you about the age, class, occupation, nostalgia and authenticity of the wearer. They are a firm favourite in Britain due to the materials used to make in them being versatile for our landscapes and changeable weather. Adidas or Nike is the big debate amongst UK fashionistas, some seeing the Adidas silhouette as being slightly more elegant, whereas the Nike shoe being more of a statement of your personality. But it's Converse who is the highest selling trainer black brand in the UK for 2022 and this is because they're very simple and the brand has a lot of heritage that appeals to the traditional values of British people. Statement jacket. If you're going to visit Britain, then a statement jacket or coat is going to be your best friend. Jackets and coats are known to have history rooted in menswear, particularly in military attire. The durable fabrics, pockets and cuts were all influenced by harsh weather conditions and the need for practicality. As women stepped into the workplace during the world wars, they started to favour this more utilitarian style of dressing and we can still see this military influence in British fashion to this day. The 1960s saw a change in UK fashion from more conservative times to fun, young and energetic. Statement jackets, still in tailored styles, but in bright colours became popular and designers started experimenting with outerwear, choosing different cuts, colours and silhouettes and this progressed throughout the 70s and 80s. And the modern styles that we adopt now are a mixture of all these ideas as new designers are influenced by reinvention of historical ideas. As we spend so much time working and travelling in the UK, we favour items of clothing that are reliable and sturdy. But because wearing a jacket covers our outfit, we like to make it expressive. So it's a huge trend in the UK to wear a statement jacket over a very plain, simple outfit. So you're still seeing that personality and sense of style freedom. Hat. Hats are a valuable and well-loved part of British tradition, with many iconic moments being immortalised by the hat that was worn at that time. The tradition was born in the Victorian era, where the hat that you wore would symbolise your class, age and occupation. And hats were also worn as a protective garment in the workplace. During the 1960s, there was a shift from hats being seen as a staple to now being viewed as a fashion accessory. As the need to be seen as modest and hardworking by covering your head became outdated. And in modern times, the art of millinery has become 
important for royal occasions, creating some memorable and iconic moments. In UK fashion, hats still hold some of these traditional values, especially in streetwear, where hats can create a mood or a theme for an outfit. And hats can also have some connotations of classism, with things like Burberry caps, hoods and balaclavas being demonised by the wider media. But if you'd like to be identified as a stylish Brit, finding a hat that matches your style personality is going to elevate any outfit and make you look classic and well put together. And in fashion design terms, this is known as head to toe dressing. So as you can see, British fashion still favours the garments that have been important in our culture for decades. Values such as work, weather and politics are very influential to the development of our style and we want our clothing to be versatile and reliable. But the fun in British fashion comes from our love of reinvention and experimentation that we are noted for worldwide. So we have come to the end of this video, but you can see me again in my follow-up videos where we will be sewing our first garment and I'll be talking you through the British style icons. But the fun in British fashion comes from our love of reinvent and re